the stance. So you turn your hands sideways. If you think of how a sprinter who's about to run a 100-meter dash gets into his blocks and then he puts his hands sideways, that's exactly what we want to do. And we want him on the back tip of the ball. And then the other thing you want to do is rotate your elbows in. And, and so, again, that just allows you to get just a little bit, about an inch or two lower, and then you're staring up through your eyebrows at what you're about to hit, okay? Uh, from a feet standpoint, we want to put ourselves in a box. So we want our feet under our hips, our toes in the ground. Look, as offensive line coaches, we talk all the time about full cleats in the ground, full feet in the ground, getting all those cleats in the ground. You just can't do it in this situation. If you're going to have that much weight for it, you simply can't. We're going to load the weight back into the hips like a sprinter in the block, in the blocks, and we're really trying to uncoil off the football, okay, trying to uncoil and get that first meaningful touch. So just watching some clips of it here. <clears throat> okay, we're going to the left. So in terms of the ID, okay, we'll leave one for the first back. They, <clears throat> in this particular clip, they didn't feel like this uh, safety was much of a threat in the run game. So they left this guy for the second back, and they bring the point all the way back here. Okay, so at the end of the day, we're trying to cave this DN all the way back here, kick number one out, lead for number two, and now the back's got to run off the safety. We believe with that leverage, that momentum, we're going to be able to fight for that one yard. Again, running back saving points just off the tackle's hip. We want him to be honest with that aiming point. You see the mic flows over the top. And the second back is able to just kick him out and the back hits it underneath. Now, you can also see we didn't get this double team up like we wanted to. And if we would have done that, if we would have shut off the backside pursuit here, right, we'd have a lot more yards to gain on the front side of this thing. We talked about being unique, right? Oftentimes, secondary fitters, they don't see formations like this. They don't see 23. They don't see 32. Some of those reads can get a little muddy for them. So you can see them fitting it outside. We're able to mess with those guys a good bit, being unique, promoting stress in a situation that's, that, that's really important. So another set of downs, four points on the board. Backside, we're cutting. We'd like to see us cut this gap and keep going. Just keep crawling through. Want to see us throw our hat better here on the backside. And then for our new rules, okay, we're not able to cut. Um, with our tight ends, okay? And I know some high school uh, organizations are moving to those rules as well. And so our tight ends are going to high screen. They're not going to cut this guy down, but they're going to try to cut him off and they're just going to be a little bit higher. This is, I would say this is probably a little bit too high. But again, we're not truly cutting on the backside with our tight ends. 